Umana Magomedo versus Koyston Hagen. Who's going to win this fight? But before we talk about who's going to win this fight, let's take a look at their latest performances in which Umana Magomedo fought Hauni Barcelos, in which Umana Magomedo knocked out Hauni Barcelos in round one. These guys so far. And after this, Omar Namagomedov went on to fight Bexka Amakan, in which Bexka Amakan dropped Omar Namagomedov in round one. Omar is this. But then Omar Namagomedov brought it back and took control of the whole entire fight with his wrestling and grappling, and he ended up taking it by decision. And still undefeated, Omar Namagomedov! Let's take a look at Corey Sanhagen's latest performances in which he fought Cheeto Vera, in which Corey Sanhagen landed some great shots and kicks, completely outclassed and outlanded Cheeto Vera, and he ended up taking it by decision. By split decision, Corey! At this, he wanted to fight Ralph Fon, in which it was a very boring fight, but Corey Sanhagen showed off his wrestling and grappling skills, in which he ended up taking it by decision. By unanimous decision, Corey! Now here's the thing about this fight, I feel like the UFC has been pretty biased as it's clear that they're favoring Umar in this fight and are pushing him to be the next contender for the belt because this man is ranked, yet he hasn't fought a ranked fighter, but the reason why I feel like Corey Sanhagen is going to put on a dominant performance is because he accepted to fight Umar, meanwhile nobody else in the division wanted to fight Umar because they see the skill that he possesses, so if Corey Sanhagen is set to this fight knowing that he doesn't have to because it doesn't do anything for him, then it's most likely because he's confident in what he's about to do. So now how's this fight going to go and who's going to win this fight? Well you might see that Corey Sanhagen is going to get destroyed by Umar Namagomedov since Umar is undefeated and he has three finishes in the UFC but I believe that once he gets in there with Corey Sanhagen who has the high level experience and skill he's going to realize right away that it's going to be a long night because I don't see him being Corey Sanhagen on the feet because that's where Corey Sanhagen is most dangerous his best chance is to grapple and wrestle and even then I still think Corey Sanhagen is going to put up a fight so in the end it's pretty easy to predict how this fight is going to go if it becomes a striking match for the majority of the fight then Corey Sanhagen is going to have the better hands over Umar Nurmagomedov and he's most likely going to take the win but if Umar Nurmagomedov forces Corey Sanhagen to wrestle and grapple then I feel like that's where Umar is going to show his strengths and dominate the whole entire fight and i do see him taking the win by decision